the big three. They had Allen Iverson, uh, Joe Dumars, hoping he'll bring that star power to the team uh, that he feels like maybe to ha bring that edge that will help get them over the top. But uh, right now the Pistons are uh, still a lot of adjusting going on. And, and one of the things when I look out at Boston, one of the things that stands out to me right now is they're physically the bigger and stronger team. And come playoff time, you know strength and size and depth, how that plays in. And that's my one concern about the Detroit Pistons is their lack of physical strength. They need McDice. Absolutely, they need McDice. Screen by Cole, the shot by House. It's a two. Iverson was defending, got knocked out on the screen. But again, their game plan is to make Allen Iverson guard which then hopefully takes away his strength on the offensive end. Don't let him roam. Keep him involved in every play. Quick double on Hamilton. Through it, tries to stick with Bynum. That's rejected by Davis. Bynum takes it back. Leon Poe cradles it inside. Rasheed Wallace just got slapped in the eye too inadvertently, I think, by Leon Poe on that little scrum underneath the basket. Tony Allen fires inside to Poe. And Rashid was there to break it up. Oh! Detroit has missed their last 10 shots. So this is becoming now a complete whitewash. And while the first game saw Boston beat Detroit 88-76 in Auburn Hills a couple weeks ago, this game is even more of a statement on Boston's home floor. So watch three full hours of the show. You made Cable's number one sitcom of all time, Tyler Perry's House of Pain. Wednesday starting at 8, 7 central. And the only place to see brand new episodes starting, starting December 3rd is on TBS, the original home of Tyler Perry's House of Pain. This has been a House of Pain tonight for Detroit. Tony Allen just picked up his first personal foul, and some more guys are coming off the bench. Here comes a follow. Here comes Amir Johnson. There goes Rashid. And there goes Allen Iverson, I'm assuming, for the last time tonight. Again, it's been a tough stretch of game for the Pistons. You go back to November 9th, 11 days ago, when they played Boston in the Palace. Then they go on a four-game Western trip. Go home, play Cleveland, and now back-to-back -to -back tonight here in Boston. So tough schedule for the Detroit Pistons. And uh, tonight, uh, Boston was the fresher team, and they've been the better team. Ryan picks up the foul. Bynum was the Chicago Public School, the Chicago High School Player of the Year. You were telling a story late last yeah, he week. And, he and Sean Dockery, the guard used to play yeah. at Duke, they used to have some battles in the city there in Chicago. I think there was one game where Bynum had like 60-something and Sean Dockery had 50-something. I mean, those guys were unbelievable. Walter Herman has come in for the... The Troy is taking the place of... Hamilton here is Cole shooting over Max Seal who picks up the Detroit foul. So Max Seal picks it up. That Rory here is for Brian Scalabrini. He began his NBA career with New Jersey. Scalabrini was a terrific college player at USC. He started 91 of a possible 92 games. He was the Pac-10 freshman of the year. He finished his SC career, Doug, number six all-time in scoring. And they liked him in New Jersey. <laughs> they love him in Boston. Yeah, and, and, you know, I think that the big thing for him is, you know, he's such a fan favorite here. When he comes in the game, they want him to shoot the ball every time he touches it. And he talked about the pressure that that puts on him because, you know, if he passes up a shot to move the ball, you know, he, he wants to play as a team. And so it's important find a role here that's important for the team and I think Doc Rivers feels good about that with Scal. He played well the other night against uh, New York in the absence of Kevin Garnett and I think he feels like he can uh, trust him to put him in the game. Walter Herman from Argentina right into Leon Poe. Walter Herman came to a midseason last year in a deal that's in Nazi Muhammad to the Charlotte Bobcats. Pistons get their first field goal in nine and a half minutes going back to the third quarter. They threw it. Scalabrini. Shoot or pass, right? That's Catch and shoot goal. or pass. Davis, rejected by Amir Johnson, picked up by Poe. He's hit by Johnson. Count it for two. Johnson picks up the foul. I'm going to tell you, Leon Poe is just knocking guys around in there. He is physically 
imposing his will. Last year, he had a little bit of a role on this team, played well. But you watch him go to work inside. Watch this now as he goes for this loose ball. Max Seal comes out of there. Amir 